from Yungaburra, it's only an hour's drive to the other side of Mount Bartle Freer, to the coastal lowlands. And a great little town to pop into is Babinda. Apparently the name Babinda comes from the Aboriginal word Binda, which means waterfall. Wettest place in the country, up to four metres of rain a year. Kidding. No. Thankfully, the umbrella town, as some call it, has turned on the sunshine today, which means we can check out some of the old buildings along the main street, which all have a fascinating story to tell. This may look like any ordinary country pub, but the State Hotel has a very unique history. It was opened in 1917 and has the distinction of being the only pub in Australia that was constructed and paid for by the government. The idea was that it was to stamp out sly grog shops. Must have worked, it's still standing 95 years later. The building that draws the biggest crowd is the Babinda Munro Picture Theatre. It was built in 1956 and has been fully restored by local pharmacist Fred Lizio and now boasts the largest screen in North Queensland. Off to the movies we go. Fred bought the theatre over 30 years ago when it was in a derelict state. His plan was to use it as storage space, but the magic of the silver screen cast a spell on him and the rest, as they say, is history. How's it been over the last 30 years? You must just... Do you love it? Is it, it must just be a big passion of yours. Well, the best thing about it is to, to have people appreciate it so much. They come out of the movie and having spent their money, they, they're happy about it. Mm. And they come and they're, they're thankful and appreciative. Uh, and that really keeps you going. The cinema boasts the latest in digital sound and projection, but Fred does pay homage to its 50s roots. And why'd you choose these chairs? These are the... Uh, they're designed... These are new chairs now, but they're, they're designed on the uh, original chairs. Uh, and we did want to keep the, uh, the atmosphere of the 50s. The 50s. Yeah. And people must travel far and wide to come here. They, they do, surprisingly enough. We have them coming from south, from Mission Beach, from, uh, and north from Gordonvale, Cairns. In fact, some from Port Douglas. Port Douglas, two hour drive to come and see a film. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? In 2006, tragedy struck in the form of Cyclone Larry. The damage to the cinema was so severe that Fred almost decided to close it for good. But thanks to the support of the local community and a government grant, he was able to get back on his feet. While there was 12 months of trauma after Larry, uh, since then, I look at Larry as being a blessing. OK. Uh, because it's uh, made the theatre what it, uh, you know, it used to be in its heydays, at mm. least, and, uh, and people are really uh, responding to that. Just a few kilometres out of town is a natural feature that's popular with the visitors, the Babinda Boulders. It's a lovely spot for a swim, a barbecue or to camp, and the massive granite boulders are quite a sight. There's an Aboriginal legend associated with the Babinda boulders. The story goes a young woman died here, but her spirit is still present. And if you listen really carefully to the rushing water, sometimes you can still hear her wails. Not far from Babinda and its boulders is Misty Mountain's rainforest retreat. Here couples or a group of four can cocoon themselves in the rainforest wilderness and relax in luxury. This really is something special, my own private retreat nestled at the base of Mount Bellenden Kerr and I don't have to share this place with anybody, except for maybe Jill. Misty Mountains has been a labour of love for owner Sharon Salvestrin and her husband. Their goal was to create a romantic getaway like no other and I'd say they've done it. Sharon, I've never seen anything like this. This is incredible. It is, it's pretty special. I think we've tried to design something to create an experience for each couple and it's very important to us that we only have one couple stay as a privacy aspect and when we're in the heart of such a beautiful wonderland, it's, it's pretty perfect. I'm not a girl for camping and I kind of guess that there's a lot of other people that yeah. are like myself. Yeah. And I think in today's world we all work very hard and I think we should all have that little treat to make ourselves feel special. 
as well as the luxury villa, gorgeous pool, optional private chef and masseuse, Sharon offers guests something else just a little bit cheeky. We've designed a little nightclub for two and you've got the, um, the club which is built in the rainforest so you've got the lovely sounds of nature and it's all set up with lighting and professional sound music so you've got your own nightclub and by day it's a nice relaxation room just to sit by air conditioned and a pool table cable tv and even a pole dancing pole <laughs> <laughs> so by night let your hair down absolutely <laughs> Jill and I better enjoy the luxury while we can because after the break, we're putting on the hiking boots and heading up Mount Bartlefria. Okay, well, how do you think uh, Kimberly and I are going today so far? You're doing very well. The leeches might become a bit of a problem Leech later. Oh, God. <laughs> 